Hi guys, it's Anne here again and welcome to another episode of Very Unusual. So I thought 2020 is really passing us so swiftly. It's already October, so time flies as in super. But yeah, I'm happy to see you all once again. It's Saturday. And in this video, I'll be sharing to you all my seven day mask challenge experience. Actually, this is not the first time I did this. I had done the seven day mask challenge too before and I already reviewed it. And I recommended some masks that are good for acne prone skin, dry skin, oily skin, any types. And if you've not yet seen that video, please check the link down below. So anyway, let's get to this video. <laughs> Too bad I accidentally threw the packaging of the Lululun masks because they're the mask that I used for this seven day mask challenge. But anyway, I recorded uh, my application and um, actually I got this mask from iHerb and I also shared that video I reviewed iHerb. If you have not seen that one yet, please check the link down below too. All right, so this is my very first application, this video that I'll be showing to you now. So as you can see, I guess I got some uh, acne scars here. What I like about this sheet mask is that it has just the right amount of ampule. So it's not too much for my face, especially I have an acne prone sensitive skin at the same time it's an oily to combination one sometimes so uh, especially when it's dehydrated that's why I thought this mask has the right ampule for my skin type also I like it that when I remove it especially the first time I can see how my face looked really bright so I can tell it had hydrated the first time I use it. Basically, shit masks can be used every day. You could actually include them in your skincare routine at night. So I get that question a lot. And I also get some questions from the teenagers. So take your time, guys. <laughs> um, anyway, if you're really into using shit masks already, I suggest that you could use shit masks that are very soothing and calming. Uh, those that are not too harsh on your skin because you've got so young skin yet. That's why I recommend something like maybe those that are made of aloe vera, um, maybe some kind of cucumber. Those are very soothing. And of course, find the right one for you. And as much as possible, don't, you know, strip of your face with too much products yet. Take your time. Oh, well, anyway, going back to these shit masks, I religiously use them for seven days, really nonstop. So this is my result for the seventh day. So I thought my acne scar had lightened a lot, but of course I've been using other products too. I've been maintaining skincare routines, not just this shit masks, but I can tell that it had contributed a lot to, you know, uh, fading my acne scars. So that's what I really liked about it. Um, so basically, that's what I got from this 7-day shit mask challenge. Actually, shit masks may have their temporary effect. That's why um, if you're looking for something that would have, uh, you know, longer effects in the long run, then you might as well maintain a skincare routine. But practically, shit masks, I guess, are just good for, yeah, short-term goals. <laughs> Say for example, if you feel like your skin is really tired um, and your skin is looking really dull or your skin is looking really flaky and dry, then go with the shit mask. Like what I said a while ago too, it can take part to your skincare routine at night so as to keep that moisture, lock in moisture, especially if you really have that dry skin or if you'd like to balance the oiliness on your face because like what i mentioned with my other video too when your face is dehydrated so that's when you incur excessibum that's why it's also ideal to hydrate our face often so that's when shit masks can help too alongside with your skincare routine or skincare products 
for the price it's actually quite reasonable too for five dollars you get seven sheet masks already and then for my cons i just don't like the packaging itself it's like they're all in one you know ziploc and then when i get them it's like i'm getting all of these shit masks so i guess that's totally unhygienic it worked for me when it comes to hydrating my skin and brightening it but i thought it didn't soothe my skin well not unlike the shit masks i got from uh, vt cosmetics from those shit masks i really feel the soothing effect for this one not much i guess it's because of the ingredients anyway that's what i can share to you all about the seven day sheet mask challenge if you'd like to give it a try go check the link down below and if you'd like other recommendations of other shit masks that might work for you feel free to comment down below too. All right, so that's it for this one. Guys, once again, I hope you find this video useful. Please don't forget to give it some love and follow me on Instagram at Very Unusual. Subscribe to this channel, new video every Saturday, and click that bell button. See you again next week. Bye, happy weekend.